what is up people it is your boy drew come back with uh, another video and today i will be showing you how to broadcast your screen onto your computer using your cell phone so this will help anyone who's trying to become a mobile gamer or something of that nature um so first of all i have a windows 10 computer and they integrated something that allows you to use a cell phone and cast your screen for free so you want to basically come over here and you want to go to project project is over here in the corner you want to go to pc screen only and then connect to wireless display and then project into this pc so you want to basically make sure these settings are just like this you want to make sure that it's on available everywhere on secure networks make sure it's on first time only and make sure that you can put this on off or on it doesn't matter some of this a lot of this is personal preference but this uh, this is the way that i have it this is the way that i like to keep it so once you do that you want to go over to your phone once you um, set up all your settings on your computer you want to go to your phone and you basically want to scroll down and I already have mine displaying but you want to scroll down you want to look into your uh, drawer here and see do you have something that says capture or display or something like that if you do not don't worry I don't have it either you want to go to your settings here you want to go to display and you want to go down once you go down you want to go to cast screen here go to cast screen you want to click on whatever the name of your um pc or computer or laptop is so you want to click it i'm already connected so that is what you do and once you do that you will um a blue screen or whatever color will pop up on your computer once that pops up on your computer what you want to do is then you want to disconnect disconnect you uh, disconnect you want to once you're disconnected you want to go to the search bar <clears throat> and you want to type connect right there we go you want to type connect so once you type connect you want to pin it to taskbar I already have it pinned to taskbar I'm gonna pin that to the taskbar and that is basically this program that you use to connect and you want to have it here and you want to do your you want to minimize it not minimize it you want to put it in the box so this is maximized and you want to restore it down so you can move it like this once you're able to move it like this this is like it took me so long to be able to move it like this once you're able to move it like this um, you want to connect your phone again so you want to go and you want to cast the screen again you want to connect your screen so you want to hit the button again to connect your screen again like this have your screen connected once your screen is connected um, In your um, box let's see it's a button that you will have to press in order to have your mouse move again so so let's go here so in order to make your mouse move again you want to press the Windows key and let me show you what I mean here so I have that pulled up I cannot move my mouse I pulled up connect and I cannot move my mouse see my mouse moves on my phone screen but it does not move on my laptop screen so I cannot do anything but you want to hit the Windows key once you hit the Windows key you can now move your mouse again so that's what you want to do I will have a picture of that Windows key so you can know what it looks like so anyways once you do that you are basically in business people you're in business so this is the website that you want to download OBS Studio from. I will put a link of that in the description. Um, 
you want to scroll down here and hit download OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a wonderful program. And once you download that, you can get on to the next step in getting your um, YouTube career started. You do that and you have your screen up and running. You want to have keep your screen up and running. And so what you want to do is you want to see display capture. You want to press the um, I here so the I basically what they do you see my screen went black it basically takes away that so you can't see it anymore so you want to go to game capture go to game capture and you want to hit OK and you want to select specific screen and the screen you want is connect receiver exe connect once you do that you see the screen has now changed and now it is I have a screen of my phone here so you want to minimize that down and um, boom fit it there you want to you can hit that or you can just put it higher so if I put that higher um, you will see that but if I slide back down boom so you can do either or both are fine so that is all you really so, need uh, once you have um, game capture which is right here once you have your game capture here um, what you want to do is press the uh, the eye right here so it will so the display will go away just to reiterate that again that's very important well, make sure you do that if you don't do that you won't see your gameplay so once you do that you want to go over to file and settings and you want to set a couple of things up right so you want you can um, leave general the same I usually don't touch general general it can stay the same stream I will do a separate video on that later um, output so basically once you first start this output mode will say um, normal or, or uh, something like that but I have it to advance so set it to advance if you plan on streaming in the future if not you can leave that as default but for now you want to mess with the streaming tab so basically what you want to do first is recording path you want to select browse and uh, a tab will pop up and just select where you want your videos to be saved to right so once you do that change recording format this is important change recording format to mp4 if it's not already set to mp4 make sure you change it to mp4 for encoder there are two you can use you can just use your streaming recorder which i have it set to my streaming recorder which is x264 or you can use different encoders for both i recommend if you have uh fast internet to just leave it if you don't have like a graphics card or anything just leave it the same leave it as the stream um, recorder your rescale output should be the same um, as your monitor screen if you are uh, just recording a regular video make sure you just have it set to your monitor screen and usually OBS is good at just setting that for you my monitor screen is this here some people my screens are smaller you can always find that out um in various ways you can google that or you can just uh simply go on your screen and um go to properties i think and find out what that is so anyway it should be set anyway so you shouldn't really have a problem setting the rescale output just leave it as is because it should be your um, screen resolution so um, once you do that you want to move on to audio so audio you can usually leave this as it is you might can bump that to 48 if you want but I just simply leave it at 44.1 I might work out some um, 44.8 later so the next thing you want to do is select your um, desktop audio um, device so you want to select your device I first before I have my microphone I just set it to my laptop um, audio but now that I have the Yeti mic which I upgraded um, I set it to my Yeti mic so 
whatever you have make sure that it is set the fault sometimes the fault would just not have anything planned at all so you want to make sure you set your mic to whatever your audio and your video i mean your audio uh, sources will be coming from that's very important to uh, make sure that you select these so um yeah make sure you select these bro just make sure these are selected um i can't stress that enough make sure that those are selected right here is a another uh very important thing here um base cams resolution like i said again this right here is basically the resolution that you will be recording at and output scale resolution is the resolution that's going to get down scale to um in your video so you want to make sure these are the same and streaming purposes for someone with slow internet it is different i will cover that in another video like i said so down scale you want to make sure that you have this on um it's three settings uh one will say fastest and this is the medium one and another one starts with an l so there are three of those and you want to make sure once you click down scale filter uh, you can click e uh, either one is fine when you're doing um, just a regular video but for the best quality you want to either pick the fastest one or the one in the middle depending on your computer and the settings on your computer so you want to pick either one of those two the only way that the um, one that starts with the L should be used if um, you're streaming and maybe you don't have the best quality or something like that but in most cases you want to go with either the first one or the second one use the fastest or the scaling to 16 examples is another one that's at 32 examples I don't really recommend it you, at the end of the day though you're gonna to have to play around with every setting in here to get it to best suits your computer because every one computer is not the same so you're gonna to have to um, play with the settings man figure out which setting helps your computer the best man it's trial and error honestly when it comes to um, OBS a lot of trial and error so once you have that set up and you have your game capture and your game is on this screen here uh, let me show that again let's let me show your game capture uh, I don't have oh I know why it's not showing up I don't have my phone connected but it's fine i don't have my phone connected but your game like i can move this screen right here your game capture will be just like this and so you will be able to move that screen however you want to fit it into your video so once you have all that set go to mixer and this is not such an important step but it's kind of important to you know the process so this is where you put your level so i want my mic at 100 i want my voice to be overheard but i want that audio in the back to be a little lower so i always set it to 65 or sometimes 75 but i don't put it at 100 because i do not want my uh, audio in the back drowning out me you know what i'm saying so that is a very uh, important thing you want to do when it comes to um putting your videos at great great quality um so after that all you really have to do is hit start recording record and talk a little bit get your recordings out of there play around with that recording button i mean once you do that you go to wherever your recording was i used to have mine here and it's gonna be in there you get it you edit it with it whatever editor you use and you are good to go man i'm hoping that this has helped someone who is trying to become a mobile gamer or maybe a PC gamer you can be a PC gamer too with this man because with PC is a lot simpler you don't have to do that game capture stuff but anyway man it, it it's a uh, it's a good time man it's a good time to uh, become a gamer so I just want to say if anyone needs any help please contact me and I won't be shy of helping um, leave comments and I will help you if you're stuck and usually people will get stuck I know we get questions about the connect um, uh, connect um, feature so 
and or if you need a, a alternative other than connect man you need but you need a way to get your your phone screen on the computer i know people are going to struggle with that so if you're struggling just let me know leave a comment and i will get back to you as soon as possible anyways man it's your boy drew and i'm out one day i'ma have the money to go by honey rari